Well, folks, let's go have a look. You're going to do this with me at the same time. Um, I'm not hopeful that the bees are in this box up here. But we're going to take a look and see. And we're going to go from there. so but we had to take a look anyway all right well they're not in the upper box so now we're gonna have to climb back down so hold on a second Okay, our next step, we're going to go back here. They did tell me what to look for, and so we're going to look for a couple of things here. Uh, Alright, so obviously, as you can see, there is no activity. Uh, let's see. Yep. You can see here we have no activity. You can see they never really did anything with this top box. So now here's the second box. So we're going to pop out some of these. Okay, so now you can see all the comb that they built, right? But there's absolutely nothing in that comb. There's a couple, couple of cells here that are covered, but that is it. And there, let me take a look. couple of dead bees on there. Uh, but yeah, once again, what you're seeing is a bunch of comb, but nothing in there, okay? So, let's try from down here. Yeah, same thing. Okay. A lot of comb on both sides, but there's absolutely no honey or anything like that in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this one off. And So here is the very
very bottom and again there you'll see a couple of uh, a couple cells have something covering them but for the most part you got nothing yeah unfortunately So again, a lot of, uh, there's some covered, but for the most part, everything is gone. Uh, I want to look at the very bottom of here. So unfortunately, it appears that, yeah, like I said, there's all kinds of comb and stuff, but nothing so apparently it looks like they ate everything and then they probably bailed. Right, let's take a look at the very bottom of this. Right, let's see, so there's the doorway. That's where we're at. Oops, I'll turn this other way. That's where we're at, folks. Uh, no bee carcasses. Maybe three or four dead bees total through everything, which you know that doesn't doesn't help. And screwing this up. Yeah. Right. Well, that's, that is the way I had it, I think. Anyway. Well, yeah, that's what we got. Uh, so, we have no bees. So what I'm going to do for now, uh, the other top one, I'm going to leave the two supers on here for the moment. And, uh, spring we are going to get more bees but I can utilize okay um, I can utilize both of those boxes to start 
two new hives, okay, because of the fact that uh, they had uh, both have a ton of comb in them. They both have a ton of comb, so that's going to give the bees a head start. I'll take two of those drawers or slides out of each one, put in new ones, and then uh, you know get the next two supers ready. And then when we get to that point, I'll put those ones with comb in the new box, and then just go from there. But unfortunately, that is what happened. It looks like they ate through all their stores, and then they bailed. So um, no bee carcasses or anything like that. So. I know that's not right how I have that right there. I'll have to look at what I did wrong and uh, figure it out, but uh, for now, it can stay like that. It doesn't really matter. So, all right, folks, that's what we got. That's where I'm at. <laughs> disappointing, absolutely disappointing. Uh, actually, I gotta look at this. I, this is bothering me. For the moment, that's going to be fine. We're trying to just block things off anyway. But uh, I'll figure that out later. I'm not worried about it right now. But anyway, that's where we're at. That's what's going on. So we will start again in the spring and hopefully learn from our lessons that we screwed up. All right, folks. Remember, we truly are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we get that one figured out, we will be in much, much better shape. Also, remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day, tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from achieving your goals is you. That's it, nobody else. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. I hope you all have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.